Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you add new customer records, they have their default information set up to match the settings in your customer defaults. You can change this information in the specific record if needed. Then you enter the information that is unique to each customer. When you add new customers, it is through the Maintain Customers slash Prospects window. You can access this window by choosing Maintain from the menu bar, and then choosing the Customers Prospects command. The top of the Maintain Customers Prospects window has two text fields and two checkboxes. The first text field is the Customer ID. This is the code that you use to uniquely identify your customers. Then there is also the name of the customer, and this is the name that you want to show on reports and invoices. Now the two checkboxes are Prospect and Inactive. Prospect is the checkbox that you check if the customer is a prospective customer. You might check this for a customer for whom you have created an estimate, but have not yet performed any actual work or invoicing. You cannot invoice a prospect, so be aware of that if you use this feature. They become regular customers when you clear the check from this box. Inactive is the checkbox that you check to make a customer inactive. The General tab contains basic customer billing and contact information. In Peachtree 2006 through 2007, if the billing and primary shipping addresses are the same, you can simply click the Copy to Ship Address 1 button to save yourself the work of entering the same data twice. In versions of Peachtree prior to 2008, you could also select a shipping address number from the address dropdown and click the Copy from Bill to Address button to save yourself the same work. Now in Peachtree 2008 through 2010, you click the Addresses tab and then use the Copy Billing Address 2 dropdown to select which shipping address to copy the billing information from. Then click the Copy button to copy the data. You can also enter multiple shipping addresses into the shipping address lines provided in the Addresses tab as well. The Addresses tab is replaced by the Contacts tab in Peachtree 2011, which allows you to record this same type of information from multiple contacts at a single company. To create a new contact, simply click the New Contact button. You can then enter the contact information into the fields that are shown. If you wish to enter a new address for the selected contact, you can simply click the Edit Addresses button to open the Contact Addresses window. Here you can enter the various addresses used by the company. When you're finished, simply click the OK button. Then you can select an address for the current contact from the Addresses drop-down on the Contacts tab. When you have finished editing the contacts information, simply click the Save Contact button to save the contacts information. Also, you can select a contact from the Select a Contact drop-down, and then click the Delete Contact button to delete a contact that you will no longer need. Note that some contacts are needed by Peachtree and cannot be deleted, such as the primary billing contact. Now returning to the General tab, note that this tab is also where you assign customers their tax codes using the Sales Tax drop-down. You will need to assign one tax code for each ship to address you enter. Note that you will investigate creating tax codes in the later chapter on Sales Tax. You can also type your own personal customer type into the text box of the same name. This is then used as a filter for reporting and for finance charge purposes. You can also enter contact information such as the phone number, email address, and fax number. If available, you can also enter the customer's website address into the website box. Now, if using Peachtree 2003 through 2007, you can also click the gray arrow for beginning balances to enter the outstanding invoices and amounts that they owed you as of the company file start date. Starting in Peachtree 2008, you can perform this same task by simply clicking the History tab and then clicking the Customer Beginning Balances button. Back on the General tab, 
Notice that once you have created a customer and have invoiced them for goods or services, you can view the current amount of their receivables balance. To see the list of invoices which make up the current balance, click the arrow button next to the current balance displayed if using Peachtree 2003 through 2007. If you're using Peachtree 2008 through 2011, just click the actual balance amount shown in this tab in order to retrieve the same information. On the Sales Info tab, or the Sales Defaults tab as it's called in Peachtree 2003 through 2007, you enter sales information for the customer record. This tab shows sales reps, shipping methods, pricing levels, and the general ledger sales account used by the customer. The Sales Rep field is the sales representative for that customer. The GL Sales Account is the default general ledger income account which most transactions for this customer will fall under. This of course can also be set on a per transaction level if needed. The Open PO Number field is used for customers that have an open purchase order with your company. The Ship Via field is used to select the default shipper used for this customer. This is a field that you can always change at the time of sale as well. The Resale Number field is used to record the tax ID number of customers that purchase items for resale. The Pricing Level field is used to indicate the pricing level for the customer. This can always be changed during invoicing as well. Starting in Peachtree 2004, you can select how the customer prefers forms sent to them by choosing either the paper form or the email option buttons within the form delivery options section. When you print bulk forms like statements from the select a report window, this choice determines whether the form will be displayed for printing or automatically emailed. In Peachtree 2005 through 2007, you have the terms and credit tab which lets you set specific terms for this customer that override the standard terms set in the customer defaults window. In Peachtree 2004, these options were found on the Sales Default tab. They were changed by clicking the gray arrow button to set specific terms via the Customer Terms dialog box that appeared. If the customer will not be using the standard terms, you can uncheck the Use Standard Terms and Credit checkbox. You can then set the specific terms for the customer using the options available. Starting in Peachtree 2008, you now set specific terms for the customer that override your standard terms by clicking the Payment and Credit tab first. Then in the Terms and Credit section, use the drop-down to select the customized terms for this customer choice. You can then specify the specific terms for this customer only in the section below. The Payment and Credit tab in Peachtree 2008 and later also contains the same options found on the Payment Defaults tab in Peachtree 2003 through 2007. This tab lets you store payment information used for customer receipts. If they pay most frequently by credit card, you can fill in the cardholder's name field with the name on their credit card used for purchases. You can also type in the address, which will fill in the billing address information automatically. You can also enter in the credit card number used for purchases, along with the expiration date. In the Receipt Settings section, you can specify the default payment settings for the selected customer. If the checkbox for Use Payment Method and Cash Account from Last Saved Receipt or the Use Receipt Window Settings checkbox is checked, if you're using Peachtree 2003 through 2007, then the Payment Method and Cash Account fields in the Receipts window default to the values of the last saved receipt. You can clear this checkbox to set up a default payment method and cash account used for all of the customer's payments by default. Now if using Peachtree 2003 through 2007, the Custom Fields tab contains the custom fields set up in the Customer Defaults window. You can enter the specific information for the customer record here. In Peachtree 2008 and later, these fields are simply located on the General tab instead. The History tab 
shows you sales, receipts, last invoice, and payment information for the customer. This is updated every time you enter a transaction for a customer. You can enter historical information when creating a new customer, and this information will then be automatically updated by Peachtree. Note that this information could also not be changed once the record had been saved in versions of Peachtree prior to 2008. Now once you've entered your customer information, simply click the Save button at the top of the window to save it. If you're going to create another new customer, you simply click the New button and enter all of the relevant information. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.